Namaste viewers and welcome to the Sate Connect podcast series in association with Remarkable. What do I say about this beautiful day and in with a woman who is known in this industry for speaking less and talking more in terms of her work. You don't see her often but she is behind the scenes running probably in one of india's largest tour companies called veena world we have none other than veena patel herself a woman who's a perfect combination of strength and substance strength you will know soon while the postcard goes on and substance because she only means what she says ladies and gentlemen and i say that with a lot of conviction not because i have known her known her for her work for her commitment to the tourism trade but also to her people friends her people her organization is not built by bricks but by the souls of people and it's an amazing day today because we are on a thursday the 5th of january and she has conducted her first lakshya meeting and you know it soon what lakshya meeting means because she has her entire team of people from grassroots to the head honchos all thinking together with one laksh veena patel it's such a pleasure on the namaste thursday first jan morning of 2023 a positive person like you veena you've always told me one thing veena when a situation is bad first thing is accept it <laughs> don't blame the world don't blame your environment don't blame the society you are a woman who's always said resilience is the key and responding to that with the right mindset is the best thing to do to move on with success veena patel the floor is yours we really need to know what resilience and response means to you in this world of tourism and travel yeah thank you thank you rima and remarkable and sati connect so this is the first podcast i'm doing in this 2023 which is very optimistic year and uh, yeah like last 2 3 years almost 3 years now and uh, the roller coaster ride is still on but as you said that uh, this is the mantra we are uh, practicing i can say that okay whatever it is just accept it and same way we accepted pandemic because it was nothing we did so we had to accept it and uh, so we have the tradition of including even the drivers in this one hour meet on every month first thursday laksha meet and then we we tell there what is the progress of the company how, how, uh, the number of bookings the number of travel guests the revenue and everything and everything is in front of them and what are the things like we have a drive going on right now is let's make it easy for everyone so now let's make it easy means like when you are doing anything just think about for whom you are doing it they may be guests they may be your partners they may be your associates they they may be airlines they may be many many people are connected in this our network and if we design a product or anything which will actually uh, will have less effort from their side so they can concentrate i can give you uh one example that we introduced in india the loop system of hotels so where we are thinking from the hotels angle that okay uh every two days there will be a group and uh, once that group goes so that hotel owner is not having a problem of how to get the bookings he is solely concentrating on giving the service so actually when you are making it easy for him actually you are only benefited or rather the last the end point is your prospect your guest he is getting benefited or she is getting benefited and that is most important thing so making it easy for hoteliers for airlines for your internal uh, team members like for contracting people the uh, you know schedules and other things should be so easy 
that by uh, giving it to them next uh, level that is associate it should be easy to understand for them so that drive when we started actually we came to know oh this can be so easy and we really harness our uh, skills like we all were meeting at 10 o'clock in the morning during pandemic and it was nothing like we we, we were just attending offices we were in communication with people we never like stopped working like we we said okay whatever is happening we can make lot of itineraries a uh, lot of ideas can uh, be thrown on the table and let's make the most of it and that way we actually okay world we had lots of itineraries and we were like uh, still we said let's now find out because when you travel out of india we we forget our own country and that that's what actually pandemic has given us and our honorable prime minister also was promoting india in those days with atmanirbhar bharat and uh, all other things and they gave us like dekho apna desh kind of a tag line for india and uh, we we actually took that tag line and we put uh, dekho apna desh dil se pyar se samman se see because international was not there so we are traveling in india that kind of a feeling we never wanted and it was like and then we actually it was a realization i will say that we came to know that forget about europe and other things our every state has so much potential absolutely and and we must understand that before going even seeing the world because india is different mm-hmm. like if you see le ladakh it's completely different and that every indian must see and like i really am really grateful to our prime minister so that is how actually uh, domestic tourism survived us and whenever we got an opportunity we uh, we were uh, like uh, doing international tours and other things but the main thing we in these two years we could contribute in promoting our own country to our own people beautiful and that too that too in a good manner there are you know uh, drivers are there of that country the guides are there so we should not have conversations like this absolutely no, yeah as you mentioned very clearly vina that uh, you know you have a team of people and for you you believe more in people than in statistics It's yes what you always say because yeah it's your people who um, have built vina world literally yes uh, and you always vouch for that because you said statistics to ek jagah hai par logon ki pyar aur ek jagah hai very clearly coming to a little bit you did mention about statistics that you have interestingly ladies and gentlemen listen to this wiener world has surpassed the our figures of people traveling in 2018 they have yes. also surpassed the figure in 2022 yes so how how encouraging a statement this is for the tourism industry and you that's what the power of tourism industry i will say yes, yes. because because when everything was looking uh, gloomy and you know the environment was bit depressing that time we said let's let's not forget about any uh, the uh, the potential we have as a company and the potential we have as our country let's let's do something so that things will be on the right track because see 18 i think we are to the 2018 we had the highest figures okay in terms of turnover and in ter- uh, that time it was uh, the turnover was almost 1000 crores and uh, we we did git in group tour passengers means group tours the average duration of the group uh, group tour is like 8 days okay so this is where we come in that is our core business and there we had done uh, like 65000 tourists yitd okay year till date for three quarters of the uh, of that year and which was the highest figure uh, binawal started in 2013 and uh, in those uh, eight seven years the that time that was the highest uh, achievement 
and this year we did 69990 so 5000 people more okay so we we actually surpassed and we are ahead of that particular year pre pandemic highest year now during uncertainties this is showing that if you really put all your efforts towards that one goal of yours one mission i think the environment supports you and that's what has happened and we surpassed the uh, numbers git numbers and as far as the revenue is concerned we are 50% of it means we uh, in 2018 we were uh, almost 1000 crores this year we will cross 500 crores so as as the international is not yet started fully we are less in revenue but more in numbers so and these numbers include international and india both and this is done with half the manpower also Absolutely. because that is also because we are controlling costs right now because whatever we lost in uh, these last two and half years we have to really take care of the finances and everybody because it's not only vina world it's all people associated with vina world are very important and for every one of us and for tourism industry if the thing should move on the tourism should move on because like yesterday only not yesterday day before yesterday we had a conversation because our uh, new year campaign was about to start on 5th of january and uh, for the uh, 3rd of january we had a meeting and we said now this covid news is uh, spreading everywhere uh, what's going to happen uh, kind of whether we should start the campaign not start the campaign and then we said no see if you look everywhere outside everything is going on like if you see even the government programs are going on in full fledged then why we should wait because if we don't advertise if we don't communicate with people people will say that again tourism industry is in trouble so it's not only for vina world it's a contribution towards tourism industry that okay tourism is all right because if you see airports are flooded with people all flights are full all hotels are full then why why to stop ourselves and just let, let's accept these covid news as it comes it goes also very fast nowadays so we are accepting it we are going ahead and today we came up with this full page uh, ad which will come in times of india also and uh, we started because one person one guest of ours uh, from mumbai he said when in 2021 when our first ad came with dekh apna desh dil se pyar se samman se that time he said oh i saw your ad abhi aisa lag raha hai ki जिंदगी शुरू हो गई तो इट वॉज सच अ ब्लेसिंग यू नो एंड इट एनकरेज अस दैट बिकॉज नथिंग वॉज हैपनिंग एनी वेयर एंड सडनली दे सॉ द एड एंड देट लाइक ओ समथिंग इज कमिंग बैक टू नॉर्मल एंड दैट वॉज द थिंग एंड दैट्स लाइक टेकिंग क्यू फ्रॉम देर वी स्टार्टेड द कैंपेन टूडे एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू इट because it's for vina world at the same time it's a contribution to tourism industry and for the people that confidence building is very very necessary in this particular time of the year so beautifully said so if you notice my my wonderful audience she's giving such profound messages through her subtle remarks as i said she doesn't say much but she does so much She said this ad was so critical to give out a very interesting and strong message that the industry is maybe slightly bruised, but it's not broken. Yes. No, it is a bar. Not at all. Absolutely. So the tourism industry could have gone through its slight downfall. However, organizations like hers or people, thought leaders like her, who are saying, "Hang in there, guys, and we are all in it together." and we are here to make a difference and the difference is holistic she's not saying just for vina world she's very clearly saying it's for my industry so here is the holistic story of an organization that is saying together we can 
Meena, my next question to you is on this entire holistic viewpoint, Meena. You said India because I, I personally, as a media professional journalist, I think India tourism's mainstay is domestic tourism. Literally, I mean, that's our story. However, when you look at the larger picture, to the UNWTO is pushing tourism, saying rethink tourism, and every campaign of theirs is saying, you know, gastronomy tourism to wine tourism. They're getting into niches. We you know what do you think we as an industry need to do so that we are in it, not probably being. I don't want to use the word negative connotations, but the fact that forget this so-called, uh, you know, scare. But beyond scare, also comes a lot of, uh, you know, the, the strength to travel with a lot of beauty. So how do you want to take this forward as an industry thought leader from the holistic viewpoint, keeping national and domestic tourism in mind for the future of the world? See, what has happened is like, see, when we are running any company or any organization, making money should not be the sole purpose. And that is what I feel like because I have seen many of the companies stopped tourism and they started something else. Then I was thinking why a thought never came to our mind, any of us, the promoters, the team members and any of us that let's start something different. When we were sitting at home for two years, that thought never came to us because we were believing on this industry and we were believing on because human beings love to travel. And because everything is going to be online, everything is going to be stressful, everything is going to be, uh, you know, within the four walls of the house where people will vent out. So. People will rent out on these destinations. So tourism has got a very big future. Even pre-pandemic also tourism was the second number industry after manufacturing. And IT was after it. And that status we will get in near future because people will travel. It was something they, I don't like that word, but they, they were calling it as revenge tourism. They were calling something else. But whatever it is, people will not stop traveling. And because everything is online, I think travel will be the most essential thing in everybody's mind and heart and soul everywhere. So we never had a thought or we should never have a thought that tourism ke liye future hai kya. Mm. Never. It's... Tourism is going to be a future industry. It is already because people have shown it. After two years, people were like mad after traveling. Yeah. And all flights were full. Even with RT-PCR and everything, they were traveling. Like we used to do RT-PCR at various destinations for people, for groups. And still people were traveling. Because if so many uh, hazards are there and there is a health threat, why people traveled in those days? Like people are traveling from February 2021. Then there was a bit halt because of second wave. And then again, they started traveling from September. Everything was happening. Why? It was just, okay, they are saying, okay, health hazard. Let's wait for some time and start again. Maharashtra ke log, uh, UP mein jayenge, UP ke Kashmir mein jayenge, Kashmir se Ladakh mein jayenge. So much can happen. And Real Atma Nirbar Bharat can actually be in also tourism. See, tourism as a business, we have to look at India, we have to look at world. We, we can't lose a business opportunity, but at the same time, there should not be always a question of top line and bottom line and how much we are earning. It has to be something which is beyond those top line and bottom lines and we should do like we should do something for our country, whatever field you are in. And that's what we are trying to do, being in tourism. Yeah, absolutely. And Veena, I really clearly remember you telling me uh, this, that, you know, our industry is so connection focused in the sense we are a people industry, we are a service industry. So, you know, networking is a very critical thing in our business. And organizations such as, uh, you know, whether it's Infomarket, Sate, brings that to the fore. Literally, where you get life in one 
beautiful ecosystem not you way this entire importance of people to people connect and a networking platform without people there is nothing <laughs> because in our organization whatever it's a small tourism company i'll say with uh, very small turnover in in comparison with whatever is happening in uh, industry business industry but we believe in this what we are doing and that's why we are actually doing different things than uh, the way tourism industry was like we have our own tour managers which are we don't take freelancers because we want to instill the uh, you know values and uh, practices and everything and then they should uh, try to give the service because we are fully people oriented uh, industry it's not something like online portal in tourism industry online portals are the business models they are not i don't call them as tourism service industries because they are not giving that kind of a service which we are trying to give okay so no comparison with them being a small player in tourism industry what we are trying to do is that every person in our organization must must know what is happening in the organization it should not be like today because we are uh, doing this on thursday and every thursday uh, not every thursday every month the first thursday we have a lakshmi we we are calling it as a laksha uh, the for the entire team and laksha meet uh, is because we have a laksha of chalo banaye bharat ki sabse badi travel company and then when we got matured actually we said badi has got uh, no meaning because uh, what badi because every every time there is somebody more badi than you so let's have a proper meaningful thing and then we actually uh, spiked it off buddy and then we wrote near that that buddy is still there we wrote on the wall that it is chalo banaye bharat ki sabse behtareen travel company and you know since then when we are we have changed that i can see that kind of because when we change that we actually explained why behtareen because behtareen is something which will give you satisfaction yes. which will give you sense of achievement and which will which will actually because your core is to give uh, enjoyment to your guests and that you will be able to do it so while doing this if even even our driver knows what this company stands for and what actually is going on in the company and how the every person coming in the organization is important then actually things will be very easy and i think we have to become kind of a uh, you know uh, infinite kind of a player it's not something winning or losing that should go on like after me somebody else will come here the leaders may change but things should move on for centuries and that is what in our small kingdom we are trying to do that let the game continue wonderful because and if you notice the um, audience again she is spoken on inclusive tourism in the most refined way what this organization or she saying that our industry together has to be inclusive where you you're talking about the industry as a whole hoteliers aviation experts tour operators ground handlers you can speak about rail tourism she saying we are all bringing it under one roof because we want to support our stakeholders and our partners she saying my hoteliers are very very critical for me she saying i'm planning my itineraries in such a way that they don't lose out as well and also she saying in my organization i involve my drivers in the meeting how much more than inclusive can we get so a very clear message from her is that tourism industry is here to stay it's here to stay with a lot of resilience it is a year to stay with a lot of real and raw stories of your and my story of saying enough let's get out let's keep the fear in the past and let's move on with a lot of you know as she says fun but fun with a lot of responsibility because you need to respect your country at the same time and we now one more question to you 
this organization, this mammoth organization called Sathe, completes its glorious 30 years this year. First of all, congratulations for completing 30 years because it's long period and such a mammoth organization running it for 30 years is something uh, which should be actually celebrated. Okay, and congratulations for that and all the very best for many more years to come. But I am grateful and thankful to Sate because Sate kept us alive with their presence in the market because they were online last to last year, I think. Then last year they conducted and this year also there was some kind of, a, you know, some depressing kind of environment. But then also Sate is happening. So Sate is actually keeping tourism alive and that's why I am really thankful. Thank you very much and uh, please support us like this and we will do whatever we can in our capacity. But thank you very much for the work you are doing in this tourism industry. Yes, I'm, I'm so glad. And I am also thankful to Rima, you too and you are remarkable. I love the name. And I have seen you for so many years and your dedication towards tourism, then you shifted. But I'm very happy that you are associated with such a good organization. And uh, I wish you all the very best for that. And thank you because of that, my first podcast is happening with you. Thanks. I felt very nice. Thank you, ma'am. And good luck, Veena Patil and your organization, Veena World. Thank you. Thank you. From us here, from Sate Connect and Remarkable, we wish you a beautiful 2023. Thank you. I wish you the same. Thank you.